right, no, no. That's bullshit. Take this. Am I sitting here? Wherever you want, man. You're the boss. No, no, no. You should come sit by me so <laughs> hey, if you want her sitting next to you, go for it. This is all about you and your album and your crew, man. I don't know, man. You're going to disappear when she sits there, pal. Exactly. <laughs> I kind of like Wayne Static and his wife, Tara. <laughs> Actually, this is Dave with extreme close. metal dreams. <laughs> <laughs> nice of you to say for him. <laughs> I'm here with uh, in Seattle with Doyle. I'm, it's the new album, The Bominator, man. How, how in the hell did you come up with all the riffs that you've got on that and the power? Every single song on there is phenomenal, and that's hard for me to find on any band. Thank you. Um, you just jerk around and whatever's comfortable to play, you use it. Now, you've been an inspiration in the punk scene, God, for quite a while now, since I can remember. Who are your inspirations that keeps you going? Um, her. <laughs> um, you mean like when I was younger? Even now. Now? More now, because with the way that you <laughs> write and... The way I'm writing? I don't know, I just, I write whatever, you know, I, I stockpile riffs and throw them together. Let me give them to Alex and he makes them with the songs. I can't take credit for the song, it's just me. Okay. So... How did you put this lineup together after leaving Misfits and, to do this solo? Um, well, let's see. Uh, Alex he sent me a tryout with a whole bunch of Cancer Slug songs on them, and it was the only one I sat there and listened to the whole thing. You know, he must have sent me a hundred songs, and they were all great. You know, and uh, got Graham from Michael Graves. Yep. Oh, Chud. Dr. Chud. I mean, come on, you got Dr. Chud on the... He's gone. Really? Yeah. So who's doing drums then? You got Tiny from TSOL. Flew in on an hour's notice before Damn. the tour and uh, learned all the shit. So are you guys just finishing touring 2014 here in the States and then what's planned after that? I don't know. Not sure, huh? No European dates coming up? Uh, we had a tour set up, but the guy, the promoter, ran off of old cast. But isn't that happening quite a bit lately? <laughs> um, so, there is, is there bad feelings between you and the Misfits? Because I know they're coming in a few weeks. Oh. I like that look. That was a quick <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, anything you wanted to ask him there? Oh, it's yeah, your first time getting to meet him. I got That's I got all you guys got? Oh, no. Did you bring food? Shit, <laughs> if she would have told me you wanted treats, I could have brought you all kinds of medicinal treats. I get medicinal. <laughs> what kind of food do you like? Vegan food. <laughs> vegan, really? <laughs> How long have you been vegan? Uh, it's just this year. How's it going for you? Great. Lost a lot of weight with it or no. just feeling healthier? No, I didn't lose any weight. <laughs> so do you work out on a daily basis before you go on stage or is it uh, I try just... To, I try to just do it every day. Just at the hotel rooms or... You got weights in the truck. <laughs> Unusual. <laughs> Not too many bands to actually bring them around. A lot of them do. I know at Mayhem Fest we were having trouble finding weights for a lot of them to work out with. And it was pretty fun. What is your favorite food besides vegan? Pizza. Wow, man, right here. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always pizza? Nothing fancy. That is fancy. <laughs> so, how did you come up with the title for this album, Abominator? We didn't have one, and I was just driving down the street, and I wasn't even talking to myself. And for some reason, I just said that word. And I slammed on the brakes and called my singer and said, what do you think of this? He's like, that's great. The next song we do, it's a little bit. So it was the last song we wrote. I noticed that uh, you're getting pretty good reviews on this album quite a bit. And uh, being one of the 
guitar influences that you have been all these years. What do you got? What would you recommend for kids that are trying to become, you know, more right, more punk style music? Come on, go right through. Sorry, these guys. Sorry. I brought you vegan ice cream. Oh, you're what? The best. You're yeah. lying. Good. Is that how you can live your life? Yeah. Yeah. For you. All right. <laughs> um, All right, we gotta wrap this up. But I forgot. <laughs> 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 you didn't know that there's vegan ice cream in the Northwest? No, we know. I know I've been vegan for 15 years. Because in the Northwest, it's big time. But I wasn't expecting such a courteous gift. Very so you want me to put it in the freezer? Yeah. I want you to give me a spoon. Oh, sorry. Oh, so <laughs> as, <laughs> as being an influential guitarist and punk music through all these oh, last what couple years. Tell the kids? Yeah, what would you recommend them to be able to learn how to write songs, man? It's, it's all about songs. You, can, you gotta play great songs. You don't have to be a great musician. You need a great singer, great songs. The rest of the band could blow. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Look at the Misfits. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, now, wait a minute, because I, I'm, I'm a Misfits fan when you were there, because I enjoyed all your guitar work. That's what really caught me the most. Right. You can go through, man. Don't be scared, dude. Don't want to interrupt you. Working, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, there's a lot of punk bands that could come out. To me, the Sex Pistols were shitty musicians, but I they just they were good. Well, the guitar player is great. The I love their shit. Steve, Steve <laughs> Jones is great. What are you talking about? I didn't really think he was that great of a guitarist. Yeah. I just you thought think he I'm was good. Fuck yeah. You got your head up your ass. <laughs> here and here, I got the head oh up my, my ass. God. Wow. I know you're good. Sex Pistols, I'll take what you've done with the Misfits over the Sex Pistols. Wow. That's, That's my just opinion. That's taste, I guess. Huh? It's just you like to taste the shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sure you uh seeing all this stuff about Robin Williams' death. Right. And what uh, Henry Rollins being one of another very punk influential person, and what he said about being selfish, taking the suicide, doing suicide and stuff, and he got a lot of flack. Do you think that was wrong of him to say that that was being selfish with being a parent? Or I, don't I mean, know what the fuck you're talking? I know about. what you're talking about. Actually, can I? Jump Absolutely. In? Please. I don't think I think everyone took his words, took them out of context, and then made a big deal about it because what he said wasn't that he was being selfish. He was just saying that he understands where it came from. We need to all understand this problem a little bit more. And actually, there's, you know, this is something that we have to have sympathy for. You know, he didn't say Robin Williams is a selfish asshole for taking this. No, life. the only thing he said he was selfish was being a parent. I didn't even know and he killed himself. Robin Williams, yeah, apparently. That's what he just died. No, he killed himself. How? Hung himself. I don't want to know how. For real? Said. Yep, and uh, it was through, you know, disease, uh, depression that he had. And like you said, he, people did take it out of context. Yeah. Because what he said was, you know, if you're a parent, you give up that right to just right. give your life. And to me, for someone that's that influential in our punk movement from all these years... To have him say something that was just so perfect and being screwed out of context. Like right now, uh, I can't really take any of your lyrics and say they're going to be bad lyrics for kids to listen to. But now Exodus is getting slashed really hard for their song Class Dismissed. Because a kid is facing terroristic threat for the simple words of printing the lyrics up on Facebook for that song. Do you think that the courts need to chill out and actually read the lyrics and the whole song? I've never heard of that band or anything you do. Never listened to Exodus? I think, you know, wow. people are getting their... <laughs> I think people are getting their knickers in a knot for the wrong things here. You know what I mean? Like... Songs are a form of art, it's a form of expression. A lot of the people that come out to these shows and rock out to like really gory lyrics, 
are not ever going to do those things. They just like the imagery and the feeling of having that community of people that are into that type of a genre. But that doesn't mean they're all terrorists or they're all murderers. You know, I think it's really, uh, it's really actually quite funny that people are arresting people based on Facebook statuses rather than what they're actually doing. What are you going to do, sing about puppies, flowers, and rainbows? Kids don't want them. They'll still get pissed at that. They don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> All right? They want you I, I don't think imagery. I could ever write anything with about it. They want I could, dark but. imagery and then, you know, stuff like that. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to let you go because I know I'm ready to take pictures of you on stage and watch you guys. Okay. I've been anxious to see you play live again for a while now, so thanks well, again for your best. time. <laughs> oh, whatever, man. I, I actually, the same day I got your album, I listened to it over and over and over, and I'm not one to really do a whole lot of cussing in my reviews, because you never know who they're going to, the press agent's going to send it to. Right. But man, your fucking album's the shit. Thank you. It, 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 it's one of those albums that, you know, I had to give it a 10 out of 10 because you guys really put together just amazing from beginning to end album. And so I want to thank you for blessing us with this sucker. Cool. And thanks for your time and thanks for yours as well. All right. Thank, thank you. you. All right.